Colorado's high-definition news leader. This is 9 News 7 a.m. We switch gears now. We're going to talk about cognac. Sales soared between 01 and 07, up some 37%. And since then, not so much as the uh, global economic downturn takes a toll. But Camus Cognac is bucking that trend and hoping to boost sales even more by expanding here in town. Joining me now, this is Cyril Camus, a member of the family who started this business. You're also president of the company. Thank you. Welcome, good, and good to see you. Good morning, Greg. So tell us what, uh, what makes this uh, product so unique. Well, Greg, I think part of the answer is in the, uh, is in the question that, uh, that you asked. We are a family-owned company, yes. and as one of the largest cognac houses around the world, we are the only one that's still family-owned, completely independent, and that means something to the consistency of the quality of the product, and also the fact that we are very much wine growers, product driven. So we have our own styles of, um, of cognac, which I think would be best described as likely oaked, very approachable, right. but very fragrant. Well, it is very fragrant. We're not going to drink any right now. Mm. But it sure smells good. Right. It smells very good. Your yeah. cognac is sold in what, 140 countries, mm -hmm. uh, on board 50 international flights all over the world. Why are you choosing Colorado to kind of focus your efforts on here? Well, as, um, as you mentioned, the brand is uh, very present on an international um, scale. And the U.S. is really the last country where, where our brand has not been so well positioned so far. But we are now focusing on uh, rolling out the brand in the U.S. at the premium positioning that it has elsewhere. And Colorado is one of those key markets in the U.S. that um, could both drive the volumes sure. but establish the image of the brand as well. Well, Gary and I were talking. Gary likes it uh, on a cold winter's night mm -hmm. in ski season. Yes, Very it is perfect, easy. perfect after <laughs> a nice said. day of skiing. So what expressions are available here in Colorado and what's the retail price? Well, we, we have a full range, uh, starting with the um, entry-level VS that would be around $25. Okay. And then the range is moving up the uh, quality levels towards VSOP at about $45. The XO would uh, go at about $120, and here you're really getting in, into the very premium end of the market. But we also have, and that's quite unique in the U.S. market, we have a single estate mm -hmm. XO cognac that goes for about um, $140. That's beautiful, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. And the future Thank looking you. bright for your company? Uh, it, is, uh, it is looking good. I think if we keep doing what we've been doing for the past 150 years, uh, there's very good chances that the sixth generation will enjoy even greater success. Well, we wish you all the best. And if uh, Shapiro has anything to do with it, you're going to be just fine. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very <laughs> he, much. He'll help your stock a lot. Yeah. Zero Kamu, thank you so much, and thank good luck you, in Greg. Colorado. Thank well, you. finally this morning, he has logged more than 3,000 miles on foot, nothing but his backpack and his dog as his companion. And now the Denver native has made his way home to the Mile High City.